Hey everybody, thanks for watching, checking in with this uh, short clip about um, determining reaction rates, looking at some data, looking at some graphs. How quickly will a reaction go? How, we, how can we describe the rate of a reaction? Here's some data in a table. Looks like NOBR is reacting. Starts at 0.05. That's another one I need for moles moles per liter, a cubic decimeter is a liter, moles per liter. 0.05 concentration goes down, goes down, goes down, goes down, 48. Looks like every four seconds I measure the concentration. Keeps on going down to 0.01. It started at 0.05. How can we describe that, uh, the rate of the reaction? Well, based just on this data, I could choose any two points and uh, do an analysis, an average rate over those two points. So let me let me just look at the, the first four seconds. During the first four seconds, I believe the rate of the reaction should be the fastest of any time. Uh, so from zero to four seconds, the rate, of the concentration dropped from 0.05 molar to 0.0431 molar. So that's rise over run, the change in the concentration versus the change in time, keeping track of my units. And really, uh, oh, I see, yeah. Uh, this one minus this one gives me a negative number, and the rate is negative. We could say it's decreasing in concentration. If I just imagine the first point versus the second point, technically it's curved in between, and I found the average rate uh, rise over run for this uh, right triangle, and I suppose it would be a straight line in between those two red circles uh, that I'm finding the average rate for. And maybe this is a little bit faster and a little bit slower 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 and a little bit slower, little bit slower, little bit slower over those four, first four seconds. So maybe in the beginning my rate was a little bit faster than this amount, and at the end my rate was a little bit slower than this amount, but the average rate in the first four seconds from here to here rise over run. So reactions almost always start out faster and go slower and slower. If I look at the last 8 seconds, from 92 to 100 seconds, uh, the data looks like um, I end at the very end at 0.01. And 92, 92 seconds, I have 0.0107. So that would give me 0 0.0007 divided by 8 seconds, a small number. And this is much slower than we had at the big, toward the beginning. Toward the beginning, we had... Uh, what, 1.73 millimolar per second. Here I have only 0.087 millimolar per second. So as I go over, over time, over the 100 seconds, it slows down drastically. And you know, what you could do, I suppose, as an exercise, if you felt like it, go back to any of these points and uh, practice um, doing rise over run, an average rate for any of those, any of those times. Let's look at another one. Oh, this is a pressure of a gas. Looks like uh, A, my gas A, is reacting. I've measured the pressure of A over 40 second time period. I start out at 110 torr, partial pressure of A, 89, 74, 63, 54. So you could pause the video right now and uh, just practice. Find a few average rates. If you're ambitious, if you're not ambitious, Pause the video anyway. Think about it. Okay, let me do a few. Uh, I could do these two. 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 I could even go from the beginning to the end, but that wouldn't be a very productive thing to do. Um, in terms of describing the rate, we might want to be more more detailed than that. Looks like we began between the first in the first ten seconds at 2.1 torr per minute change. 1.5, 1.1.9. So again, that's just 9. The difference is 9 over 10. The difference here is 11 over 10. The difference here is 15 over 10. 10 seconds. The difference in, in tor, partial pressure. Hmm. All right, here's another variation on the same theme. Here's the balanced equation. It's like a combustion of uh, pentane in oxygen. Five carbon dioxide, six waters. The point is, one of these reacts with eight of these to give five of these and six of these, and not only that, the rate of u of consumption of this is only one-eighth the rate of consumption of this. I consume eight times more oxygen 
or I consume oxygen at a, at a rate eight times larger, eight times faster than I consume the pentane. And this is a five and this is a six. I wonder what that means. Oxygen initially consumed at a rate of 1680 torr per second. So I'm consuming this at this rate. Calculate the rates of change of the, all the other species. Well, if I see a one anywhere in, in any of these, I might want to focus on that. It'd be nice to know this. And what I just said a moment ago, this is only being consumed one-eighth as fast as this. So what I could do is I could say the O2 is being consumed eight times faster than the pentane because there's a one here and there's an eight here. And if that's true, I could write in the language of mathematics that the rate of change with respect to time of the pressure of O2 being this is eight times larger than the rate of consumption of the pentane. Or in other words, this number times eight should give me this number, or this number is eight times larger than this number. Hmm, that's a thinker. Think about that for a while. Hmm. Technically, I suppose since these are both being consumed, if I were to say how do they relate to these over here, these might have a negative in front of them they're decreasing, these are increasing on the right hand side, but I'm not too overly worried about that right now. I'd, our intention is not to confuse, but just to remind that that's decreasing. All right, so what would I do? What else would I do? Well, if I knew this one, if I was told this one in the beginning and I just figured this one out to be 210, then couldn't I use that 210, use this 210 torr per second to say how fast is this being created compared to this? And how fast is this be being created as compared to this? Hmm. Is it simple? Do you have a vision in your head? This is 210. How fast is this being created? How fast is this being created? You see that number? You see that coefficient? Yeah, you're right. The coefficients mean something. So this is being created five times faster than this is being consumed. And this water vapor is being created six times faster than this is being consumed. So how about five times this number for the carbon dioxide creation? And how about six times the same number for the water creation? Hmm, ponderous. This is, if you're not that comfortable with the language of calculus, just ignore it. But it means the change in pressure of carbon dioxide and the change in partial pressure of water six times faster, five times faster than my than my single unit consumption of propane. Oh, that's interesting. Do I have another oh I have another example. Goody gumdrops. Here's iron. Now aside from the fact that iron's usually a solid, I'm gonna pretend like it's uh, a pressure, a gas. I have a pressure of iron vapor. It could be in some bizarre condition. I can imagine it. I'm saying, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm saying, um, I'm given the rate of creation of this. If I'm given this is being created at 40 torr per second, how does this relate? How does this relate? If I know this number is 40 torr per second, I'm creating 40 torr per second of this compound. How much of this am I consuming? How much of this am I consuming? Well, if you look at this 2 and you look at this 4, there's a simple relationship between 2 and 4, and you might be able to uh, just uh, get it conceptually, but I went ahead and wrote it out. Here's the language we put forth in a previous video, I believe. The rate of change of this, the rate of change of this, the rate of change of this are all related to each other. They're not exactly equal, but I put equal signs in between and then put a little adjustments. That 4 in front of the iron goes here. That 3 in front of the oxygen goes here. The 2 in front of the N2O3 goes here. Negative in front of this, negative in front of this, they're decreasing. This one's increasing. And I was told this one to be 40. So couldn't I just set, say, these two equal? Call that 40, solve for this one. Or couldn't I set this equal to this? Again, call this 40 and solve for the unknown. And that's what I did. Or maybe you can do that in your head. But be careful doing it in your head. You can uh, get tripped up. So I've just, uh, forget about this for a second. 
take the pressure, partial pressure of O2, partial pressure, the change in the partial pressure of N2O5. I was told this is 40. There's a one half here, or there's a negative here, just saying this is decreasing. Solve for this little mess here, and I got 60. The pressure of O2 is decreasing at a rate of 60 torr per second as compared to the 40 for the N205. And similarly, this is what I'm told. I had this air relationship. I eliminated the middle pressure of O2. I already figured that out. What's the pressure of iron? And does it make sense to say that this is being consumed twice as fast as this is being created because there was a 4 in front of this iron in the equation? There was a 2 in front of the N205 in the equation? Hmm. Interesting. Well, play with the math. Think about it. You can do it mathematically or conceptually. Practice with that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.